What's up everybody, this is Rosa. got a quick tutorial for you guys. If you want to screen record or live stream Ableton and make sure all your MIDI sounds come through, this is how you do it. First, download OBS if you haven't already. Select the correct version depending on how much you overpaid for your computer. Second, and this is where the real magic is, head to reaper.fm and download the Replugs VST. Open up the installer, click on I agree on the agreement even though you didn't read it. And all you really need is this, Restream. But if you want to try out their other plugins, go ahead. I personally have never used them, but uh, I'm sure they're great. And after you install the plugin, head over to Ableton. Look for the Restream plugin and throw it directly on your master track. I suggest leaving identifier to default. And this next part is very important. If you don't do this properly, none of this will work. So select Send Audio MIDI and in the dropdown, select Local Broadcast. Again, very important. Send audio, drop down, select local broadcast. One more thing to be aware of is if you have a bunch of plugins on your master track, make sure Restream is at the very end of the chain. That way all the plugins you have here go through Restream and is sent to OBS. Speaking of OBS, we got one more step here. With OBS open, go ahead and add a source, select audio input capture, rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to name it Ableton. Now right click on it and add a filter. Click on the plus button and select VST2.x plugin. Rename it to Reaper or whatever you want. And in the dropdown, select Restream Standalone. I also recommend selecting Open Interface when active. This will be handy later on. If you are recording or live streaming with a microphone, as I assume most people would be, you would have a mic as a source here in OBS. Now for some reason, Restream will also pick up your mic, so you would be hearing it twice like this, which is what you don't want. So here's the fix for that. So what you want to do is right click on Ableton and select filters again. And this time add a gain filter. Hit OK and turn the gain all the way down. Now also make sure that gain is above Restream. Now for some reason it's still picking up my mic as you can see here on the levels. So I will add another instance of gain. Turn that all the way down and again make sure that it is above Restream by clicking on the arrows. And as you can see here, Ableton or Restream is no longer picking up my mic, but my mic is still going loud and clear. And it's always a good practice to make sure your audio sources are on separate tracks, so your mic is on a separate track than Ableton. To do that, just click on the cogwheel over here. Just set up your mic to be on a different track than your DAW. Here I have my mic, my SM57 on track one and Ableton on track two. And really that's it. Now before you hit record or live stream, just make sure that everything is set up. One way to do that is to play some audio in Ableton and make sure that it's showing up on the levels in OBS. If you're not getting any audio, one mistake that I've done was not setting it up properly in Ableton. I would just add the plugin, but not actually set it up properly. So make sure that you do have send audio and local broadcast. Otherwise, nothing will be sent to OBS. Anyways, I hope that helped you. If it did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. This is exactly how I screen record all of my videos. So if you want to see that in action, watch this video over here.